Some people think fishing is boring because it takes too long to catch a fish. But let me tell you, surf fishing, you won't have that problem because the fish out here are super easy to catch. True or false, you need a very long surf rod to go surf fishing. True or false, you need an expensive pole to go surf fishing. You don't need a long surf rod. You don't need an expensive surf rod. You could get a pole from Walmart, Target, wherever. A decent rod and reel combo for uh, under 50 bucks. As long as you rinse that pole after every use, that salt water will corrode the inside of that reel. So you want to make sure that you spray it thoroughly. If you want to better your chances to catch multiple fish, I suggest using multiple rods. In which case, you're going to need some sand spikes. Just take those guys and jam them right into the sand. Your hook size definitely matters. You don't want a hook that's too big. A lot of these fish out here. Well, let me show you. This is why you want to make sure your hooks aren't too big. Look at that mouth. Look at that tiny little mouth on this whiting. And a lot of these fish have about the same size mouth. The, the margates, the croakers, uh, even the, ah, there you go, off you go. Even the uh, pompano, some of the pompano. So you definitely don't want to use a hook that's too big. Stick with the pompano rigs and the whiting rigs. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate what happens in the surf when your hook is too big. These freshwater cichlids have agreed to play the part of the surf fish. As you can see, all that's really happening is your bait is getting pecked to pieces without ever hooking the fish. If you find you're constantly reeling in a rig with your bait missing, consider using smaller hooks. All right, back to the beach. Now for weights, I usually use a one ounce or two ounce pyramid weight. I attach that to the bottom of a whiting rig or a pompano rig. Some people use other kinds of weights, but I stick with the pyramid weights. That's just what I'm used to gets the job done. As for bait, I use shrimp I get from the supermarket. I cut it up into little pieces, a little one piece per hook. And uh, I top it off with a little piece of fish bite. Check the surf conditions before you leave home. If the wind is too strong or the waves are too choppy, you're not gonna have much luck out here. And watch out for that seaweed. So if you see seaweed all over the beach like this, you might as well pack it up and go home because you're not catching anything. And watch where you step. Try not to leave your garbage on the beach. There's all kinds of things out here, mermaids and stuff that can eat that. It's not good. Because you're going after any species you could catch, low tide, high tide, that won't matter much for these smaller guys. If you want the big boys, two hours before high tide is your best bet. Get familiar with your local species. Here's just a sample of some of the species I often run into. You're gonna wanna know the legal bag and size limits for each fish. A fish that's a 12 inches this year might be 11 inches the next year, so you gotta be careful with that stuff. All right, now that you have your rod, your reel, your rig, your weight, and your bait, there's only one thing left to do. Sometimes the fish are 30 feet out, sometimes they're only five feet from shore. So go ahead and try different distances and see what you catch. That's a big boy. Now that's a black margate. All right. That's a big black margate right there. He has the full color. Oh, oh, found again. And that concludes the surf fishing class. Get your gear and get out there and catch some fish. He's on there. That's a fish. Oh, what do we have? What do we have, folks? 
Is that a whiting? That is exactly what we were after, and there it is, folks. You got a fish. What are you? Show yourself. Oh, is that a Margate? Yep. I think that's a Margate. Yep, black Margate. There we go. Get a black drum. Look at that. Awesome. Baby black drum. A little nibble. Little tiny nibble. Oh my gosh. We got a baby whiting, folks. Look at that. Tiny little guy. All right. That is a tiny little whiting. Look at that guy. All right, that's number two on the board. Let's get you back in the water. Off you go.